Welcome to the Totally Honest Cooking Show. I'm Mark. Today we are revisiting risotto because I found out I was doing it wrong. The directions on the packaging said to boil it like normal rice, but that's not how you make risotto. Live and learn, right? Okay, in front of me I've got a cup of risotto rice or boreo, which has been wa rinsed, washed, all that stuff. We've got one yellow onion diced. We've got some Parmesan cheese. We've got eight ounces of mushrooms chopped up. We've got three tablespoons of butter and three cloves of garlic run through one of those fancy smancy garlic crush things. Okay, so all the prep work is done ahead of time so we can focus on our rice. We're going to start by throwing our onions in. Both of these burners are on medium heat. Our onions are going to sit there and heat up for a little while. We're going to start by toasting our rice. This is one of those. We're just going to roll it around for a minute. Well, not even a minute, like the amount of time I've been talking, really. Then we're going to throw in a ladle of our chicken stock. We got about four cups of homemade stock there. And we're just going to keep on adding and stirring. And we're just going to keep this moving. And as we keep it moving, it's going to start breaking down. The directions on the rice that I got said that you should make it like normal rice. That seems really weird given what I have since learned about this stuff, which is that you add a little bit of broth at a time and you stir it around as it absorbs, which kind of breaks the rice down and makes it cream up a little bit. Then we add Parmesan cheese and butter in order to make this process even more delectable. And notice how quickly it drinks up these ladlefuls of broth. I tried remaking the risotto recipe that I provided for this show using this technique and it cooked up pretty quick. And the, the Arborio drank about four cups of stock, so that's what we're using today. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw the mushrooms in with the onions, add a big pinch of salt. We waited till they got nice and translucent and then we started. I'm beginning to think that I should have used a small onion instead of a large onion. That looks a little bit large. Well, we'll find out. Jerkins, if it turned out okay, tell them now. Now, when we say stir constantly, we mean just that. We can look away for a second to stir that, but look what happens when we do. See how it starts to pull and then it starts to rapidly boil and it's a lot more gently simmering when we're stirring. Notice. Now you might start to think occasionally, maybe I've got too much pre-prepared broth and maybe I do, I'm not sure to be honest with you, but Every time you start thinking, well, it doesn't look like the broth is cooking down. I stop to stir the onions and it drinks it up while I'm looking the other way. So, so far it's working out. The mushroom onion mixture looks like it's starting to get done. But I'm going to leave it go and see if I can get it to caramelize a little bit.
I've gone ahead and added the garlic to the mixture of mushrooms and onions. Again, that was three cloves crushed and they were big cloves. I don't truck with no little cloves. Get it out of here. So it looks like we're finishing and I don't think it you, I, I don't think I'm gonna end up using all four cups. I think it's gonna be more like two and a half, but I'm gonna advise you to have extra stock on hand just in case. The more scientific approach would have been to measure how much liquid this ladle holds and then to count the ladle hole fulls in order to determine how much I'm really putting in here. I did not do that. Instead, I'm going by the measurement written on the inside of the pan. I'm gonna kill the heat on the mushroom and onion mixture. It didn't really caramelize, but I don't wanna burn that garlic. I feel like we're getting toward the end on this risotto here. It's done when it tastes done and also when you've crammed as much liquid into it as you can. I'm gonna go ahead and add my three tablespoons of butter. Notice how creamy it's getting as the butter melts. Now we're gonna add about a third cup of Parmesan cheese and that is hand shredded. Don't get the pre-shredded because it won't melt nearly as well. It's got anti-melting agents in it so that it can be shredded and shipped when possible. Shred your own. We're gonna go ahead and add our mushroom mixture. I might be over mushrooming. I'm probably over onioning too. We'll see. Jerkins, tell us in the comments on the video overlay. Okay, that's starting to look like food. I'm gonna add one more ladle full. And I'm gonna kill the heat. We're gonna give that a minute to soak itself all up and then we'll be back to plate. And now we are just ladling it in. And we'll add a little bit of pinch of this cheese over the top. And it will be delicious. Here we go. Mushroom risotto. Like, subscribe, click the little bell. Leave me a comment down in the comments. If you have any family recipes you want me to try, maybe send them my way. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.